friends. Welcome back to my home where we're having Sunday school today. Now before we build our sacred circle, I have this chime that I'm gonna chime three times for the Trinity. Now our sacred circle reminds us that God is with us and this is a holy time. Now did you all know that it's still Easter? Easter is such a great mystery and such a wonderful time that it can't be just contained in one Sunday. It has to be spread out all the way through Pentecost. That's six Sundays. And so our color is still white. Now when we build our secret circle, we have to find a symbol that reminds us of God the Creator. And I didn't have a globe, but I do have this picture that reminds me of God the Creator. And then I found a cross that reminds me of God the Son. And I have this candle that reminds me of God the Holy Spirit. Now friends, I wonder, were there things this week that made you happy? And that's what this pinwheel reminds us of. Now just like there are things that make us happy, there are also things that make us sad. And that's what this candle reminds us of. Was there anything this week that made you sad? Can you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for all the things that make us happy. And thank you for all the things that make us sad. And thank you for being with us in the happy times and the sad times. And be with us in our homes this week and keep us safe. Amen. Now, our story this week is a reminder of Jesus as the Good Shepherd. And this comes from the book of John. Do you think that's in the Old Testament or the New Testament? That's right, it's in the New Testament. And I'll be reading the story from the World Story Bible. Jesus was the best kind of leader. He cared about his friends and disciples. He wanted them to feel safe and strong and loved. I am the good shepherd, said Jesus. The disciples were confused. Jesus was a teacher of people, not a shepherd of sheep. Jesus saw the disciples' puzzled faces. What does a good shepherd do, Jesus asked. A good shepherd leads his sheep to food and water, said Andrew. He protects the sheep from dangerous wolves, John added. He finds lost sheep and brings them back to the flock, Peter answered. I do all these things for you, Jesus said. I lead you to the love of God. I protect you from harm. When you lose your way, I find you. I am the good shepherd. The disciples nodded. Jesus cares for them, just like a good shepherd cares for his sheep. But Jesus also warned the disciples about bad shepherds. Beware of people who pretend to be the good shepherd. They will do some of the th same things I do. However, they only do what helps them and not what helps the sheep. The bad shepherd only pretends to help the sheep. Jesus knew each of his disciples very well. Like a good shepherd knows the sound and face of each of his sheep. The best shepherds love their sheep. I'm the kind of shepherd who loves you enough to die for you. Follow me, listen to my voice, and I will care for you. I've got some reflection questions that I want you to think about. How does it feel to know that Jesus is your shepherd and guide? What things or people can distract you or pull you away from following Jesus? Do you feel Jesus is guiding you in your life? How can you respond to this? Now friends, I invite you to pause the video 
and draw or write answers to these questions in your journal. Or you can even talk to the people around you. Can we pray? Show me your praying hands. Dear God, thank you for this story about Jesus. And help us to always remember that you will take care of us. And please keep us safe in our homes this week and bring us back together again. Amen. Now, friends, this is the best part of the lesson where I get to remind you that you are a beloved child of God. And I ask you to remind those around you that they are also beloved children of God. Bye, friends. I'll see you next time.